Again, the flashy fiddle. Very important. Puzzleton is coming forward, attacking there for a moment. Oh, lovely from Biddle. Not showing too much respect to Biddle, which he was guilty of doing early on. And he's in range. He will get caught doing it really well. He landed on it. He landed it very well. You know, the well, Richards landed the solid shot downstairs. Well, still looking for a way to try and break through against this unbeaten pausing and been hesitating now. As Chris has just mentioned, they're very clever faces. For the first time, it makes, it makes them look like they're doing so much work. Just by pressure. And we'll do that. Put in a bit of a performance tonight. He takes this one for his own. His body shot downstairs there with the lead hand from... Thanks, Chris. We've already seen a 9-1 to one underdog romp home. Giovanni straight circling all the time. Bivol cutting him off. Trying to close the distance here. We should Richard stand the horse when he does he rounds. But they've certainly got the game plan. Talking to Peter Sims, his trainer, they left with that jab. I was getting the booed by that performance last time out, but... It certainly made them beat season. His only pressures on the front foot. Defense coming forward. A little bit Canelo-esque, a little bit Usyk-esque. And that... Positive start it just did. When you're on the receiving end of that entire world title and a world champion in Dimitri Bivol, you're coming to front foot pressure with that and a, a flat opportunity to land it. And he lands it with such popping up from British Championship level to World Championship level against the other this week. He said we've got to keep him on the end of a the front foot the front foot stop, Nick, Nick, what you mentioned is his foot, that's when he lets the punches go. So Richards, he said, well, then with the feet. And when you're on the receiving end of that, that was a nice belly. So if you look at Bivoli, he uses that lead foot as a mark. That's what we have to expect from Richards. Back foot, he's moving the same way. Yeah, what Richards needs to be careful of, Nick, is just as he's just very important. A lot of fight, constantly thinking, overthinking, trying to keep your distance, and trying to keep out the way of the fighter coming forward. He's just landed it and just clipped him and pushed him back with it. And that means he's probably trying to... No, this is this is good work for him. And then what he will do, he'll team it up, he'll set you up a couple of times with the left hook, so you'll expect it, and then bang, the right hand will come over the top. It, it comes back via the waistband, his own waistband. It, it's a jab down, back, jab down, and he just, just, just. Put there for Richards was blocked. He did fall slow, but a little bit low. It's a jab to the head and move on. Oh, he can't that. Talked about the mistakes he makes at level. The domestic is the left hook again. But a, a back to a responsible position, and he's in range. He will get caught over the right of it, pausing and hesitating now. And that, as Chris has just mentioned, they're very clever of Bivol in this second round. Wally was tracks a little bit from, from just coming forward, trying what he wants. Give Bivol something to think about early on in the fight, try and gain his respect. Just say you're waiting too long, Greg, but this is the problem when you've got a pump Bivol the time that he needs to get to work. That Bivol who is definitely started. It's all too easy at the moment for Bivol, he's not really been, he's not really had to exert much energy in this, but he won't get away with here, he just got away with one there, Richards. Oh my goodness me, he walked into that. Punches reputation, and then your opponent feels that power. It gives them the extra time that they need to go to work. Everything for Richards is going to come off that jab. He's looking for the right hand over the top. Well, that was a really good round for Dimitri Bivol. Last round for Dimitri Bivol. It's really... As this one catches fire here in round three. Jordan getting picked up. From Richard, six foot four. Bivol only around about the six foot mark, and he's doing so well. The right hand that uh, opened up Shakan Pinners when he won that British title last time with the big dog. Little flurry that he had. He was straight back in his place. That extensive for Bivol. Brings the right hand into play there, Richards, and we've settled into this one. And, uh, Spider Richards for him, and then catch him as he's coming in, but just backing off and circling in circles. It's just waiting for the to lay the inevitable for me for left hook. Good job from Bivol. Yeah, because he is, he's got that wide Bivol. For when Bivol makes them lunges, what he does. Jab, 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 and then try and nail him as he's coming in. 
Crystal clever bit of Good shot set up. Now that one got through with the ball off right now. A good little spell there for Richards, but Bivol is straight back on him and pushes him back up to the ropes. That's a really good response from the champion. As you say, he's being made to think here, and I think he's already realizing, hang on. I'm running up to your on how good he is, but you still need to sort of get, to dangle a few jabs up there to try and make that jab going for me, Richards. It's okay being negative on the back foot, but you can't be negative by not. He's well set for that full counter right hand. Just how many opportunities is he going to get to land? Pivot's effective with it. It's easier said than done, of course. It's a strong defensive box. Bivo isn't just completely walking through him at this stage, still not finding the area. As I said, he's blocking with high hands, he's blocking with his composure, don't lose your shape. Don't come up too high, you're going to get caught with it. It's, it's hurtful and it's precise and it's accurate. The jab more dominant. I'd like to see Richard's try and target the body of Bivo. 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 Followed of uh, Bivo, the way he defends, he blocks a lot with his own. You've uh, got to keep your composure now. From Bivol with the front foot fresh in it. He applies the weight. Round five then. It's a good tool, it's a good weapon, but Bivol is handling that jab. Pretty effective. Joe Smith Jr. where if he can land one of those right hands clean on the area, head and body, but really threw it really well. It landed on it. it. He landed it very well. You know, the rest can come off that then. The better though from Richards. Good shot from Richard, but there's going to come a time in this fight that he's going to have to go for it. He's one of the best jams I've ever seen, and this is what is, is key in this fight. Most fighters, in my opinion. Richard, I like to see him target the body area of Bivoli. The, the, the truth of the matter is against the guy with a disc on his reflexes. About Switch downstairs there from Bivoli. Yeah, and it's more of the same here for Bivol. Look at the right hand there, and the, it didn't land. He's coming onto that right hand perfectly, but just we haven't seen it yet. Counter right hand there before that. I'd like to see more. Yeah, the more times you, you throw it and miss it, the more data Richards has on the speed, the, the positioning of it. Until it's there, don't give him a taste of it. He had the last word there, Richards. Let it go and do it. Catch that left hook, throw your own back, and, and pull an over. Keep the distance. Make Bivol just start reaching the area, dropping into range, and just walking straight onto a right hand because Bivol throws it with no tail. We're through five rounds here. You know, Richards is going to have to start changing things up. Slightly further forward, and that just magnifies the impact of the jab when Bivol does land it, as well as maybe one or two opportunities if you're lucky. He hasn't really had many so far. He's been winning recently when they've got the distance. Then why? All the judges are seeing. Thing with boxing sometimes what well, well, the average fan on the couch means first there but did take one back as well Richards tries for the left hook and misses glance it miss it slightly and then Richards starts moving to, to the other way in the other direction it's being fight where you've been did that in the tactics you'll go out there but do not throw that best shot of your he has to start throwing that shot because I was just ready to just pull I'm straight back at you, and he often counters in combinations when you do come. I think as well to, to the untrained eye, this has looked like a, a bit of a round of inactivity. Lay back there from Richards, we, we've got to keep his composure now more than... Now the more than part part these minutes. Good job there from the ball. Yeah, he notices as well, Chris is win if he wants to win this fight. That's the assets to win it, Nick. The, the, the technical boxing bad hands nowadays get a puncher's glove in the of this uh, full fight. The body, body of Bivol. So out of range. So please, uh, uh, Dimitri Bivol, you're not going to get to Bivol at the moment. You have to land, you have to, you have to go for it, you have to leave it in the ring. And the, I'd like to see him become, become more dominant with his own jab and have a bit more faith in his own jab. Nicely. You know, one of the British title get shot into the side. As you say, he's just a... <laughs> you mentioned Bob Foster and what a jab he has. Side on view just a few moments ago, we can see it here. Because Bivol inches his front foot into range, but he's leaning back over, over to Wembley in North London. And there's two good for Chris Finnegan, the great Bob Foster. I think you're absolutely right, Paul. It's hard to see how 
Richards pinches rounds. Just bump, bumps Bibo in, and, he, and he has enough time left in the round. That's going to be where his opportunity is. Richards is doing the same thing every round. He's circling him. He sends the fighters out sometimes to not throw the best shot until probably round five. Is it a good one from Richards? That's what we tell to talk about in the first couple of rounds. You've got it in your artillery. <laughs> Patient build up and, and all the while just breaking him up and, and winning the winning the majority of each round. He got through with the second time he landed. It. Richard's been close here as we go into the sixth round. It's a formula that works for uh, where he is in range in relation to it. The less you throw, the more the element of surprise catches you when you do. People might just be thinking that it's not ready yet. Or sometimes you need to tie them up and break them down a little bit more to take advantage. At the moment, Richard is still switched on. Conditioning looks good. He's not breathing too heavily. He's still. Bibo is comfortable and in control, and he is landing some shots clean. Bibo will come back with two or three. He's done a really solid job defensively here. Bibo is also good again because of his old amateur pedigree and amateur. Really. Bibo, nice stuff from Bibo in there. That's when he could be vulnerable. Does Richard. As I said, I was told to be the centre of the week. He said, he landed jab, he knocked the head back of Richards, then he'll back off. And let's go. 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 let us go let us go hasn't been completely out of his depth. It's not a criticism. You've done very, very well in the performance, but I know you're better together. A couple of double jabs. Bibo will just wait. He doesn't really want to engage. He will go for it when you go for it. He can't just wait to let Bibo dictate, which he has done for the previous seven positions. Joshua Boats is in an Arthur very much in the mix domestic. I'd probably say as well, there's a lot of criticism when this fight was made. Richards referenced it a couple of times. Whenever Richards has had some success, Look at it, and it, again, it's not really criticizing Richard. I just think he'll criticize himself when he wants his back. Well, me, he's the best in the world. I stretch here, uh, and Richard is he's boxing well. He's just, as we say, he's here and forced him all back. Let's see if that changes things up a little bit, but be well out of his depth. He's certainly second, second best. In four rounds now. It's been his best rounds, in my opinion, so far. But he needs a big loss. Uh, let's see if Richards will finish. He wants the W. And if he can get it just racking up the rounds like this, they're more competitive than, than some of them have been. And we have to remember that outside of the art of attorney, we don't know which one. Could have done a little bit more. I said the same about Liam Williams a couple of weeks back with Andre. That he lands, Bivo is landing three or four. And he's being the aggressor. And he's dictating the pace. And you've got to be yourself in, in, in the fight as well. Uh, and, and make the early rounds or the mid rounds. He's doing well in this eighth round. And you have to that, of course. Here, Peter Sims, I'll say, come on, you've got your hands going. We haven't seen any kind of power punches. They've always command of, of distance and the way he glides in and out of range. If, you, if, if you've noticed, his back hasn't kissed the ropes once. He hasn't been there. And you've got us probably the closest he's been so far, but keeping the centre. The right hand of Craig Richards has been a... Uh, one thing that is when he, when he throws it out as a single, that's when he's vulnerable to the counter because Bill Oliver he comes over the, the, the top or usually the judges admire it and he'll admire it and it's just highlighting what he does well. Managed to get the uh, to get back out to range, which is as, as I've just been saying, is what Bibol likes to do. He'll come in, of course, in mid, mid and short ranges. That Bibol has, has got much shorter levers, and you know he's going to be hitting the target first. We're all going for it here. We are at the midway point, as you say. Craig Richards is not winning this one on points. There's no way. This shot to be back off straight away. This does carry some spike in both hands. Yeah, the issue, and that's where I think Richards is probably more vulnerable. I'm having to unwind those levers and punch. Yeah, you've never got the impression just to see what you've got. And then when he knows it's safe to do so, 
didn't get another goal. You know, see what I was saying about the start of the fight for Richards? Really good group of British line heavyweights. Just bubbling under at the moment. We talked about Anthony Young, Callum Johnson coming up well out to his depth. He's performed as good as any of the last four or five opponents have against him. You've ever the battles again for the champion. Yeah, circle around him, well, didn't he? He's keeping the centre and he picked this. He's so, so fluid. I think we knew it. You're in there with him. It, it's it's so easy to say we're a bit old there, but mainly they both head out to stiff jab there. Maybe over the course of the fight, we that was bit back on all of them immediately. Get on his way out, just as, as Nick was saying earlier, you'll pay for them mistakes at the top level. Better for it is it's a good little start from Bivol at the this position he's in now, which you told the centre there, that, that's where he needs to be now. In that sense, he may look like he's there, but actually far, far harder to, to set those shots up and, and land cleanly. Round seven. Round seven. But in the last night for me. Well, there's still time for Richards to work his foot down here. Roll the dice. Right hand counter comes in, but Bivol again responds as he does. He looks like he's out of range and he lets it go. And he lands on the button. And he's, he's in a firefight here. Does so well and puts Richards back in his place. That's why he's an unbeaten champion. It's been the two or three years. He's really, really thrown out into the weight. His punch resistance has looked infinitely better, as it has to know and where your allegiances lie as well. But he can take a lot from this performance. He's, no, he's not been overawed at any stage. Just a sense of urgency now, pressing forward. There he goes for the body again. Really with it really well. It's almost like an elastic right hand. He kind of drops that right shoulder and almost throws it up. Looking to finish the round strongly. Yeah, I can remember that. Night as well, Nick, and, and technically he was far better than Bullioni in the early stages, but just giving him amazing. The body is such a big target for, 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 for Bivol. If Richards can, can capitalise on it by heavyweight, so he, he has lost. For the moment, coming back, but he has to keep it on him now, Bivol. Well, Richards landed the solid shot down. He catch the eye of the judges. It has Richards, the big underdog, the British champion. Beat what Bivol's expecting a jab every time, then he's slipping up to the way the right time. Just start leading off for it. That's how he got Shaqin Pitts in. Losing this Richards Hill. So much from it. Lovely left hand counter then from Bivol. To cast the eye of the judges, but, it, but Richards is having none of it. Very, very good now for Richards again. Step out of that comfort zone. The five and a half minutes that remain in this one. Saying before, I'm not being critical of Richards. I'm just saying, you watch this back, and if he doesn't get the decision to do this, to like to see a bit more. It's comfortable because he's not expecting a second phase of attack from Richards, whether it be to the head or the body. But it's just more success, a bit more positivity. He gave the ball something, they got straight away, he brought both elbows down. They want to sort of put Bivol back into his shell and on the back foot. But also, Paul, I'll be the prison. So, Bivol comes to one, he's not that better for me. That's why I told him I left him to the boss half of this fight. As you say, Paul, that was the feeling could have been born early on. A bit into the body. So, he just lifts both elbows up high every time Mitch is throwing shots. As you can see, he's been a level above here. But can Richards put together? Left it, not through. But that's at domestic level. Oh, left hook in there. Right the right. Can they transfer it to Billy Ford? Pendleton coming forward, attacking. For a way to try and break through against this unbeaten. Straight through the gun. I think he'll take a lot out of the level. And can he do it? Yeah, he'll take him so. The turn in a row. That's nice again. And Richards on the wood. No, he has. For him all the level off. This is a good, not showing too much respect to Bivol, which he was guilty to an early on. He's holding his own. 
see when I was holding a booty head. It's gonna find you, I'd like to see if it's just your time and body. It's going to be a platform for it to go on. It's going to be a platform for it to go on. It's been such a big step up for it, and he has not been out past its own here at the middle. Again, the flashy finish in the last few seconds of the round. He judges it. He's trying to do just a thinks about the fight, Bivol, and tells you that he knows. He's going to be a tail by point in this fight. Bivol, eh? It's levels in boxing as well. He's a big hit all, and as you say, no urgency at all. He's just a very, very impressive performance defense. Fuck it up there, Bivol. Making sure he doesn't get the urgency for him. He's comfortable. It's Richards that needs the urgency. And this last round of the Bivol, Miami Payton has really put on a... Enough rounds in the beginning. Craig Spider Richards from Crystal Palace himself. Well, Richards, gonna just put it. There's just no agency from behind the moment. Really significant power punch tonight. Yeah, don't carry something back in the belt. That's nice from Rich to at the very least put Bibble on the floor here. Yeah, there's just no reason. Try to land that left hook. Takes a couple of work ethic or work rate from him. In the start, in the first, in the, in the middle four rounds of this fight. Moves that he can mix it up. I don't know that he can heal to sit there and say that's it. To say, but listen, Craig Richards tonight has, has, has been. Let it all hang out and it remains to any chance at all. Got a few more seconds, getting himself closer to the final pound. And that'll do it. Uh, still undefeated. Yeah, Bivol's got it. And still. Bivol's got it. WBA light heavyweight champion of the world. The other two reflected how you read the fight, Paul Smith. But Bivol had put enough in the bank.